Hey, good evening, everyone. So, um, I my name is Debbie Debbie Glover, and her whistleblower. Okay, so uh, we are seeing some things happening with General Milley, the military. Um, I believe that General Milley is part of the deep state. That's my personal belief. Um, I believe uh, that the military got totally corrupted under Obama. And I've been saying this in um, prior videos, you know, um, how bad it truly got under Obama. He got, he got everybody corrupt in these higher positions, you know, to corrupt the entire military. So, you know, um, this is what we're, we're dealing with is these generals who are corrupt. So it doesn't, so apparently General Milley got caught in a phone call with, with a general in China, basically committing treason, trying to, try to warn him, uh, that if they come after you, I'll tell you first or something. I mean, um, and he, apparently there's more to the General Milley story too, it, of his past. So, um, this is what I have been trying to say about the military and how bad it got under Obama for in, in multiple videos. But um, I heard from, so the last video I did, I was exposing the targeted individual program. And I got an email from um, somebody named Brian Two, who um, has been on the Jeff Rents show, which I'll, I'll include the link of his interview on that show but he apparently saw my video and he um, explained to me what he's figured out about the um, targeted individual program and how it works and I'm going to read that tonight um, he said um, so I, I have shared some charts and different things like that it involves funding from the CIA but also uh, so you have to understand you know this program started um okay so here we are 20 years after 9 11. this is when this program started um it this program started um literally the day after 9 11. okay this was when um the uh bush administration um implemented something called the patriot act and it was supposedly uh some funding to go after like terrorists but guess what they use the funding to actually go after patriots and whistleblowers. Okay, so here is where the treason comes in and here is where the truth comes in of what this funding is really going out, is really um, what's really happening here. Okay, so uh, apparently the funding, so I have shared all kinds of problems I've had with the police and he said uh, what's happening is that Department of Homeland Security was implemented at that time, okay, to supposedly watch for terrorists, okay, and instead it was used against their own people, against their own whistleblowers and patriots. And um, they, uh, at, they actually have grant money that they can implement down to the police, the local police, to actually start harassing and going after the Patriots. Okay, this is total treason. Everyone involved. I don't care if you work at Homeland Security. I don't care if you're police. I don't care if um, you're CIA. You're all treasonous bastards. Okay, and anybody who, you know, is like, oh, I'm just collecting a paycheck. You know, if you know that this is what is involved and what you're doing, then you're committing crimes against humanity. Okay, and you will be charged. So don't think you're going to get away because uh, every, everybody knows what's going on here. And if you think that you're going to get away and because you were just paid to do a job, think again because you are not going to get away. You're going to be charged with crimes against humanity, which um, basically is the same as treason. You know, so good luck with that. You want to continue coming after us, patriots? Um, you will pay, you will pay the ultimate penalty. Okay. So this is, uh, the most treasonous evil thing I've ever seen 
or heard of. And the alt he said the ultimate goal, the ultimate goal with with, with this whole implementation, is um, mass surveillance of the entire of the entire globe. It's a mass surveillance um, in action that was implemented under the Bush administration um, after 9-11 and it's continued and it's gotten more dramatic and more um, technology and it is pure evil. Okay, so, so this is what he said. So gaslighting and organized stalking tactics used against mind control victims range from the plausible to the absurd, used to discredit victims by a false narrative, which leads uh, another person or group of people to doubt their own perceptions to the extent that they become disoriented and distressed. They create a dynamic, which is generally only possible when the target is vulnerable. Um, some kind of, they create an unequal power relationship um, purposely. Um, organized stalking and gaslighting tactics are how government contractors constantly discredit and set up and entrap victims or neutralize activists. If you're also some kind of activist against a certain cause, you'll be targeted by this program as well. Okay, um, dissidents and whistleblowers or anyone they consider a threat while simultaneously provoking their victims into an emotional responses which can be remotely measured and integrated back into an RNA, RNM data. This is, this, this is where the tech companies are involved. Okay. Government contractors rely on a global paradigm to keep their army of informants, provocateurs, stalkers, etc., forcing the targeted individual into scripted mind games where the victim is forced to respond. Synaptic responses for whole brain emulation in order to function and survive. It is done to appear common, ordinary, and expected to the casual observer, and to even try and claim it is happening makes the victim appear delusional. Okay, so what their ultimate goal is to make you look crazy when they are causing all of this to happen to you. Okay, and I have had um, people stalking me for 11 years. Okay, and I, um, I, I've got video and audio and er all kinds of evidence that this is true. So, um, you know, you can't, with, with, with the phones and the technology and the videotaping and stuff that we have available to us nowadays to record these people, we shouldn't never, you should never allow them to ever um, try and say you are delusional. You need to record them and videotape them, your stalkers, and turn it around on them uh, so they can never act like you're crazy, okay? Because that is what they are trying to do. It's a very evil, evil agenda, okay? So it is often a violent and sometimes deadly game. A lot of, no, it's not sometimes, it's mostly. Most of the time people die on this program, okay? Um, most, their ultimate goal is to kill you, you know, you know, because you're too much of a threat. Um, so this is a very deadly game and it's extremely evil. Okay. Manipulation is not an isolated event, but a tactic used against people multiple times. Okay. This guy has had it used against him. He's a government contractor. They, what they do is they try to isolate you. So they'll go after anybody that you trust or like friends or whatever they'll start going after your friends um or you know boyfriends you know pro you know anybody close to you they must constantly provoke the victim and capture the trauma-based mind control victim's attention at regular intervals this is how the technology works it involves repetitive reinforcement using tactics which can be explained away to the casual observer they sensitize the whistleblower to the gaslighting and stalking and w when the targeted individual finally responds to the repeated daily minor and severe social aggressions the, the delusion or mental unstable depiction is reinforced okay um 
Uh, a person can discredit another person simply by engaging in a sufficiently complex scheme of harassment. And because the more complicated the truth, the less the likelihood of belief by an ordinary person. They're like, seriously, is this all of this is happening to you? It's hard for people to believe, but it's true. So you have to listen. Um, the, the most people turn away in disbelief because they can't, you know, the person, they, they try to make the person look crazy, but it, this is a real program that has been implemented um, as of two, uh, after 9-11. It's called a targeted individual program. Um, you can see the charts. I shared them last time online. It involves the CIA. Yeah, uh, you know, they need to be totally disbanded. They are a completely evil organization that does nothing but harm throughout the entire world. Um, math, hyper game theory is a mathematical model and basically means game theory applied to decision tree modeling, mathematically proving that by constantly and perpetually altering any value in the model, one can constantly and perpetually alter that model expected outcome. With CIA DIE trauma based mind control, the program is the mind control victim. So by constantly and perpetually altering, altering any value in the daily life, daily activities of the mind control victim, the hive mind teams hiding behind and using law enforcement agencies to do their dirty work for over two decades now can alter any value in the daily life, daily activities of the victim. CIA DIA contractors are using three interfaces I think the DIA is getting cleaned up now, though. Okay, so, uh, but the CIA is just pure evil. Okay, and it has been for decades. Okay, injure and they use three interfaces to attack, injure, and kill whistleblowers, activists, or so-called dissidents. Brain to computer interface, brain to brain interface, brain to cloud interface. They 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 want to kill you. This is a this is not something to play around with. They use ELF waves, which is a directed energy weapon. They torture the victim into near incoherency, where the government contractors then capitalize off the mistakes or poor decisions they force the victims to make. The more trivial, uh, paltry, fanciful, and fantastic the tactics used against mind control victims, then by default, the more trivial, paltry, fanciful, fantastic, the complaints of the victim that these trivial, okay, are, have, okay, they may, basically, they make you look crazy. You know, the more that you try to dramatize it, the more they make you look crazy. Um, they base your next move off of their, off of their last move, meaning the game never ends. This, this game will never end until this program ends, and this program needs to end, and I'm going to decree this at the end of this video, that this program needs to end. Um, it's pure evil, and the ultimate game, Brian said, is to, is ultimate world dominance, is what they want. It's a totally, like, antichrist agenda. Okay, so this is, um, the big tech is involved in the CIA, and what it, the ultimate goal is, is literally global dominance with this program they're you know they're gonna they're trying to tap right into our brain waves and control the entire global population so this is a very important video for everybody to watch in the whole world um tactics and technology including the gang stock gaslighting and organized stalking are designed to perpetually provoke targeted individuals emotionally each day so they can generate patterns of synaptic responses from victims, which can then be correlated by exascale supercomputers into what are called response statistics, which the RNM system will then use to determine how to interpret and link descriptions with data captured about your memory references. This is why they are constantly trying to keep you talking or getting are constantly getting in your face. Once they have consistent statistics, 
The system will use previous choice references and inject them into your subconscious thought during normal activity, which is also referred to as impulse injections to convince you that the um, that the response was your own and influence you to complete or describe the reference by making the appropriate verbalizing or performing a related action. Um, once they see how you respond emotionally or intellectually, they will fabricate conversations or situational scenarios based on these events. Okay, this is a really organized um, tactic um, that it was implemented um, 20 years ago now, uh, 2000, after right after 9-11, and this needs to end. Okay, this is pure evil, so I'm going to decree in Jesus' name that this program, this targeted individual program, come to an end in Jesus' name. This is a total global antichrist agenda, and I'm coming against this tonight in Jesus' name. I actually did a video a couple right after 9-11, and then um, just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. It's like a total like demonic attack against me trying to expose this. But uh, we are exposing this, and we will continue ex to expose this. Okay, because, um, so this is where, this is actually when they started targeting certain bloodlines too, like Christians um, and certain bloodlines that are in a certain bloodline. Um, uh, and it's not, and they're not just targeting the black people, they're targeting other people too. It just has to do with the bloodline. But they most definitely have been targeting uh, black people because they're in a certain bloodline. And, um, and they want to create some kind of race war uh, when really, it's, it's really just a spiritual battle. Okay, so you have to understand that it's really just a spiritual battle. So um, I'm going to do more videos about this. I'm going to tell my story too because I was a targeted individual on this program by just being an accident, accidental witness to a crime at a military base. So anybody can be put what you have to understand is that anybody can be accidentally put in this program um, just if they think you are a threat in any way. Okay, so um, just trying to bring awareness to this tonight. So I'm going to um, do more videos about this. But this is, um, so I'm going to include Brian's video, Brian too. So he was a DOD government contractor that contacted me that I was uh, reading his story tonight. And um, he became kind of like a Snowden trying to, you know, expose this. And he became a targeted individual. And he has more that he can share about this. But um, he, um, I'm going to include his video that he, where he was on Jeff Rents talking about this too. So I'll include this in the link. Thank you.